Mastering Self-Discipline, Unlock Your Potential and Transform Your Life. Section 1, Exploring Self-Discipline, Your Path to Success. People often say self-discipline is one of the most important things for success and happiness. But what is self-discipline? Self-discipline means doing what you need, even when you don't like it. It means sticking to your values and goals, without getting distracted or giving in to impulses. This section discusses self-discipline, why it's important in different parts of life, and how it can help you grow personally and professionally. The link between therapy and self-discipline. Therapy can greatly support self-discipline by helping individuals understand and address the underlying emotional and psychological factors that impact their behavior. Through treatment, people can learn effective coping strategies for managing stress, anxiety, and other challenges that often disrupt discipline. A therapist can also provide personalized guidance and accountability, helping clients set realistic goals and develop practical plans for achieving them. By fostering self-awareness and resilience, therapy empowers individuals to stay committed to their goals and maintain consistent, disciplined actions in their daily lives. Click the link in the description to learn about the therapy site I use and recommend. Understanding Self-Discipline, Your Key to Success Self-discipline is an inner drive that helps people reach their goals. It helps them control their behaviors, actions, and impulses to achieve long-term dreams. Self-discipline allows a person to give up short-term pleasures for bigger rewards in the future. It's about having the mental strength to stay focused on a task, even when it gets hard or boring. Why self-discipline is so important. Self-discipline is important for success in both personal and work life. It helps people grow by setting goals and working hard to reach them. At work, self-discipline makes people more productive and efficient. It helps them meet deadlines, use their time well, and keep going even when things get tough or they fail. Self-discipline is also important for learning new skills and getting better at them. It helps people to learn and improve step by step, leading to mastery. Self-discipline personally helps people control their emotions, make healthy choices, and keep strong relationships. The connection between self-discipline, willpower, and habits. Self-discipline is like willpower, but it goes further than just resisting temptations. While willpower is about saying no to things you want right now to reach your goals later, self-discipline is about making routines and habits that become automatic. For example, someone who exercises regularly doesn't have to think about it every day, it just becomes a normal part of their life. Making and keeping these habits means you don't have to work too hard to make everyday good choices. When healthy choices become automatic and easy, that's a big advantage of having strong self-discipline. Self-discipline and managing emotions. One of the hardest parts of self-discipline is managing emotions. Good self-discipline means noticing your feelings and learning to control them, instead of letting them control you. For example, feeling frustrated or bored might make someone want to quit a project. However, Strong self-discipline allows you to recognize these feelings, understand they won't last forever, and keep working toward your goal. To best learn how to manage your emotions you may also like my course on the Sedona Method. You can learn to let go of negative emotions and beliefs. The link is in the description. How self-discipline helps beat procrastination. Procrastination often stops people from reaching their goals. Self-discipline helps beat procrastination by making you think ahead. It helps people break tasks into smaller, easier steps and set clear deadlines for each part. Prioritizing tasks and focusing on starting instead of worrying about finishing allows self-disciplined people to keep going and make steady progress. Developing self-discipline. Building self-discipline takes time and involves several steps. Setting clear goals and priorities. Decide what you want to achieve and why it matters. Clear goals give you direction and purpose. Creating routines, make routines that support your goals. Being consistent helps build self-discipline. Tracking progress, keep an eye on how you're doing and change your methods if needed. This keeps you motivated and on the right track. Looking for input, feedback can give you new ideas and help improve your self-discipline. 
Learning self-discipline is the first step to changing your life. It helps you be strong, productive, and happy. Developing self-discipline allows you to reach your goals and build a foundation for lasting success and fulfillment. In the next sections, we'll look at practical ways to grow and keep self-discipline, starting with goal setting in Section 2. Section 2, Establishing Goals, The Bedrock of Self-Discipline Effective self-discipline starts with clear, well-defined goals. Without clear direction, efforts can become scattered and unproductive. This section explores how to set ambitious and achievable goals and how these goals form the foundation of self-discipline. The Importance of Setting Goals Setting goals is important for self-discipline because it helps focus your energy. It turns big dreams into specific targets, giving you a plan and steps to follow. Clear goals motivate you, guiding your actions and decisions. Each achievement makes you feel good and encourages you to keep working hard. Traits of Effective Goals Effective goals have several important traits, known as smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Specific Goals should be clear and specific to make sure you understand what you want to achieve. For example, instead of saying, lose weight, say, lose 10 pounds in 3 months. Measurable, there should be a way to measure progress towards each goal. This helps you stay on track and stay motivated. Achievable, goals should be realistic and possible to reach. Goals that are too hard can make you give up. Relevant, goals should match your bigger life values and objectives. If a goal doesn't matter to you, it might not motivate you. Time-bound, set a deadline for achieving your goals. This creates a sense of urgency and helps you prioritize your tasks. The importance of vision and long-term planning. Besides setting short-term goals, it's important to have a long-term vision. This vision acts like a guide, helping you set and prioritize short-term goals. For example, if your vision is to lead a healthier lifestyle, your long-term goals include running a marathon or eating healthy for life. Having a vision and long-term plan gives meaning to your daily decisions and actions. This bigger picture keeps you consistent and focused on your core values and goals, making self-discipline a part of your life. Breaking Goals into Actionable Steps once you set goals, the next step is to break them into smaller, manageable tasks. This helps you stay motivated and focused. For example, if you want to complete a professional certification, you might break it down into daily study periods, completing specific modules each week, and scheduling the exam. This way, the goal seems less overwhelming and more achievable, helping you keep working and avoid procrastination. Plus, each small achievement along the way boosts your self-discipline. Keeping track and fine-tuning goals. Setting goals is something you need to keep doing. You should regularly check and adjust your goals to fit any changes or new things you learn. Tracking your progress helps you feel accomplished and shows you when to make changes. You can use a journal or digital tools to track your goals. This ongoing check helps you stay disciplined. It lets you adjust your efforts and keep your goals realistic and relevant. Motivation and persistently pursuing your goals. While self-discipline often means pushing through when you don't feel like it, having inner motivation can make it easier. Connecting goals to your values can help build this motivation. For example, studying for an advanced degree might be more inspiring if you see it as fulfilling your love for learning, not just for career growth. Knowing that motivation can go up and down helps you prepare for low motivation times. When you feel less motivated, focusing on the routines and habits you built around your goals can keep you on track. Setting goals isn't just the first step to self-discipline, it's an ongoing process that keeps you focused. The next section will discuss building habits that support your goals, making self-discipline easier and more natural. By combining good goal setting with habit building, self-discipline becomes a part of your everyday life. Section 3, Creating Habits, The Foundation of Daily Discipline Habits Building habits is important for developing self-discipline because it makes good behaviors automatic, so you don't always need willpower. 
This section will show you how to create and keep habits that strengthen self-discipline, making good actions feel natural. The strength of good habits. Habits are routines that you do regularly without thinking much about them. When you form a habit, it takes less mental effort to keep doing it, making it easier to stay disciplined even when you don't feel motivated. For self-discipline, this means that once you create a good habit, it becomes a natural part of your daily life instead of something you have to work hard at all the time. How to form healthy habits. Habits are formed through the habit loop, which has three parts, cue, routine, and reward. Understanding these parts can help you build strong habits. Cue, a trigger that tells your brain to start a behavior. This could be a time of day, a place, or a feeling. Routine, the behavior itself, which can be something you do physically, think about, or feel. Reward, this tells your brain if the habit is worth keeping. Over time, this process makes the habit automatic. For example, if you want to build a habit of exercising in the morning, your cue might be waking up, your routine is working out, and your reward could be feeling accomplished or enjoying a healthy breakfast. Steps to create powerful new habits. Building new habits can be tough, but following a plan can make it easier and more effective. Start small, make small changes that fit into your daily routine without much effort. If you want to read more, read just one page every night before bed. Stack your habits, connect a new habit to one you already have. For example, if you always have a cup of tea in the morning, start reading your book while you drink. Be consistent. Complete your new habits at the same time and place each day. This helps make the habit automatic. Make it satisfying, make sure the reward feels good right away. This could be feeling proud or treating yourself to something small and enjoyable. Conquering challenges in building habits. Building new habits can be hard. Problems like losing motivation, outside interruptions, or feeling like you don't want to do it can stop your progress. Here are some tips to overcome these obstacles. Plan for problems, think ahead and plan for things that might get in your way. If you know you're too tired to work out in the evening, plan to exercise in the morning. Change your environment, make good habits easier and bad habits harder. Fill your fridge with healthy snacks and hide the junk food to eat healthy. Get support, tell your friends about your goals or join a group with the same goals. Having support from others can help you stay committed and strong. Sustaining habits for lifelong success. Once you start a habit, keep at it until it sticks. Here are some tips to help you keep your habits for a long time. Keep things interesting, change parts of your routine to keep it fun. If your exercise routine bores you, try a new sport or set a new goal. Review and adjust, often check that your habits still help reach your goals. If your goals or lifestyle change, your habits should too. Reflect and remember, think about why you started the habit. Remember the good things you've noticed since you started and how they help you reach your bigger goals. Building and keeping habits is important for self-discipline. When you make disciplined actions a habit, you don't have to rely on willpower as much, and self-discipline becomes easier. The next section discusses fighting procrastination, which can mess up good habits and self-discipline. Section 4, Conquering Procrastination, Proven Strategies to Propel You Forward Many people put things off, making it hard to stay focused and reach your goals. This section gives you ways to stop procrastinating, so you can keep moving forward and stay motivated to achieve what you want. Understanding Procrastination Procrastination means putting off tasks even when you know something bad might happen because of it. It's not just about being bad at managing time, it can be because of fear of failing, anxiety, or not caring about the task. The first step to beating procrastination is to understand why we do it. The mental causes of procrastination. Fear of failure, some people put off tasks because they fear they won't do well. They would rather not try at all than risk failing. Perfectionism. Perfectionism happens when people feel they can't do a task perfectly and keep delaying it. Lack of motivation, when a task doesn't feel important or fun it can be hard to start. 
Understanding these reasons is important to find ways to beat procrastination. How to handle procrastination? To beat procrastination, use strategies that help with both planning and feelings. Break tasks into smaller steps. Big tasks can feel scary and make you not want to start. Break them into smaller, easier parts to make them less stressful. Set clear deadlines, set deadlines, even for small tasks, to make them feel important. Use time blocks, set specific times in your day just for working on tasks you usually put off. Try the Pomodoro technique, which means working in short bursts with breaks in between. Change your environment, sometimes, working in a new place can help you focus better. Find a spot where you won't be distracted and can feel motivated. Seek external accountability, tell someone your goals and deadlines. Knowing they are watching can help you stay on track. Changing your mindset. Changing how you see tasks can help you stop procrastinating. Visualize the benefits, think about the good things that will happen when you finish a task, not just how hard it might be. Imagining the result can make you want to start and keep going. Redefine tasks. Look at a task as a chance to learn or have fun. Find parts of the task you might enjoy or think about the new skills you will get. Making the most of technology. Different tools and apps can help you stop procrastinating. Task management apps. Apps like Trello, Asana, or Todoist can help you make lists of tasks and remind you of deadlines. Focus apps. Tools like Forest or Freedom block distracting websites and apps so you can stay focused while you work. Progress tracking tools, apps that track your progress can show you how much you've done, making you feel proud and less likely to procrastinate. Keeping up your progress. Once you start working on tasks, keep up the momentum. Use the strategies that help you and change them if needed to find what keeps you moving forward. Regular reviews. Check often to see which strategies are working and if you are progressing towards your goals. Adjust strategies as needed, be ready to try new methods if your current ones aren't working. Reward yourself, give yourself rewards for finishing tasks or reaching milestones. This can be something small, like a coffee break, or a bigger reward for a larger achievement. Overcoming procrastination Beating procrastination is a key step in building self-discipline. By understanding why we procrastinate and using practical strategies, you can lessen its impact on your life. These techniques will help you reach your goals and provide strength for future challenges. In the next section, we will learn how to build more self-discipline by developing mental resilience. Section 5, Boosting Your Willpower and Sharpening Your Focus in learning self-discipline, mental resilience is crucial. This section explores ways to strengthen your willpower and improve focus, helping you stick with your goals even when faced with challenges. Understanding Mental Resilience Mental resilience means being able to handle and overcome tough situations and stress. It's about staying focused on your long-term goals, even when problems arise. Resilience isn't something you're born with, it's a skill you can get better at with practice and hard work. Building mental resilience boosts your ability to be disciplined and also makes you feel better overall. The Elements of Mental Resilience Mental resilience is built on several important parts. Emotional regulation, understanding and controlling your emotions so they don't stop you from reaching your goals. Impulse control, the ability to wait for rewards and resist short-term temptations for long-term benefits. Optimism, keeping a positive and hopeful attitude, even when things are hard. Flexible thinking, change your plans and adapt to the unexpected. Supercharge your willpower. Willpower is like a muscle that gets stronger when you use it. Here are ways to build your willpower. Set clear, manageable goals, break big goals into smaller, easy steps. This helps you not feel overwhelmed and keeps your willpower strong. Maintain physical health, regular exercise, enough sleep, and a healthy diet can improve physical health and boost willpower. Practice self-monitoring, pay attention to your actions and choices to see what might be draining your willpower. Using journals or apps can help you keep track. Meditation and mindfulness, these practices improve self-awareness and emotional control, 
which are important for willpower. They help you stay focused and avoid distractions. Boosting focus. In a world full of distractions, staying focused can be hard. Here are some tips to help you concentrate. Minimize distractions, make your work area free of interruptions. This might mean cleaning your workspace, using noise-canceling headphones, or telling others not to bother you while you work. Use concentration techniques, try techniques like the Pomodoro technique, where you work in short bursts with breaks in between. This can help you stay focused and not get too tired. Prioritize tasks, focus on one task at a time. Doing too many things can make you less efficient and cause mistakes. Prioritize tasks based on importance and when they need to be done to help manage your workload. Developing emotional resilience. Emotional resilience is important for handling problems and staying disciplined. To build emotional resilience. Develop coping strategies. Find ways to manage stress that work for you, like talking to a friend, exercising, or doing a hobby. Learn from setbacks. Instead of seeing failures as proof you're not good enough, look at them as chances to learn. Think about what went wrong and how to do better next time. Seek support. Having friends and family to support you can motivate you and help you deal with challenges. Maintaining mental resilience. Keeping mental resilience strong takes ongoing effort. Here's how to keep it up. Regularly update your goals. As you grow and things change, your goals should too. Checking and changing your goals often keeps them exciting and motivating. Stay flexible. Changing your plans when things don't go as expected is important for staying strong over time. Celebrate your successes. Enjoying and celebrating your achievements, even small ones, can make you feel good and motivated. Building and keeping mental resilience helps you stay disciplined. Make your willpower stronger, focus better, and grow emotional resilience. Doing so will allow you to handle the challenges of reaching your goals. The next section examines time management strategies to help you stay on track. Section 6, Time Management, Unlocking Peak Efficiency. Managing your time well is key to keeping self-discipline and reaching long-term goals. This section will explore strategies to boost productivity by maximizing your time and helping you get more done while balancing your life. What is time management? Time management is about organizing and planning how to use your time for different activities. Good time management allows you to work smarter, not harder, so you achieve more in less time, even when you're busy and under pressure. Poor time management can lead to stress and becoming overwhelmed by your tasks and responsibilities. Why time management is so important. Effective time management brings many advantages. Increased productivity and efficiency. By prioritizing tasks and focusing on one thing at a time, you can complete more tasks faster and with better quality. Lower stress levels. Good time management reduces stress by showing what needs to be done and when. More opportunities for advancement. People who manage their time well often get more responsibilities and chances to grow in their careers. Improved work-life balance. Effective time management helps you find time for fun activities outside of work, improving your overall well-being. The nitty-gritty of time management. To manage time well, keep these principles in mind. Set goals correctly. Use the SMART method to set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Prioritize wisely. Rank tasks by importance and urgency. For example, Important and urgent, do these tasks right away. Important but not urgent, plan when to do these tasks. Urgent but not important, delegate these tasks if possible. Neither urgent nor important, save these tasks for later. Set time limits for tasks, giving yourself a set amount of time to finish tasks helps you stay focused and productive. Techniques to help manage time. Here are some methods to help you manage your time better. The Pomodoro Technique, work in time blocks, usually 25 minutes, followed by a short break. After four, Pomodoros, take a longer break. This method helps you stay focused and avoid fatigue. Time blocking, divide your day into sections where you focus on different tasks in each block. 
This helps reduce the mental strain of constantly switching tasks. The Eisenhower box, prioritize tasks by urgency and importance, sorting out less urgent and important tasks to delegate or delay. Time management tools. Leveraging technology can significantly improve your time management. Calendar apps, apps like Google Calendar, Outlook, or Apple Calendar help you schedule and visualize your day, week, and month. Task management apps, apps like Asana, Trello, and Todoist help you organize tasks, set deadlines, and collaborate with others. Focus apps, tools like Forest help you stay off your phone and concentrate on tasks without distractions. Time management obstacles. Time management can be tough, but you can overcome these common challenges. Procrastination, as discussed before, procrastination is a big obstacle. Understanding your goals, motivations, and the negative impacts of delay can help you fight it. Interruptions, plan for interruptions by setting buffer times between tasks. This helps you handle unexpected events without disrupting your entire schedule. Multitasking, avoid multitasking because it can reduce productivity and cause more mistakes. Focus on one task at a time. Mastering time management. Like any skill, time management needs practice and improvement. Reflect regularly. At the end of each week, think about what you did and didn't accomplish. This helps you adjust your strategies and see where you need to improve. Stay flexible. Adapt your time management methods as your tasks or goals change. Being flexible ensures your methods always fit your current needs. Continuous learning, be open to new ideas and ways to manage time. What works for others might also work for you. Stay updated on new tools and techniques for valuable tips. Mastering time management helps you work better and reach your goals. Understanding and using effective time management techniques can boost your productivity and improve your life. In the next section, we will see how motivation is key to keeping self-discipline over the long term. Section 7, Harnessing the Power of Motivation for Self-Discipline Motivation is what makes people do things. It is very crucial for keeping self-discipline. Knowing how to use motivation helps you stick with your goals. This section looks at how motivation helps with self-discipline, how to keep it strong, and how to get it back if it fades. Understanding Motivation There are two kinds of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes from inside you. It's when you do something because you find it fun or interesting. Extrinsic motivation comes from outside. It's when you do something to get a reward or avoid punishment. Both kinds are important, but intrinsic motivation works better for long-term goals. How Motivation and Self-Discipline Work Together Self-discipline and motivation are closely connected. Self-discipline is about staying on track no matter what you feel or what's happening around you. Motivation is the reason why you keep going and make choices. Here's how they work together. Goal Alignment when your actions match your values and goals, it boosts your inner motivation, making it easier to stay disciplined. Reward systems, knowing what rewards motivate you can help you set up your environment and tasks to support your self-discipline. Ways to boost motivation. Staying motivated can be tough, especially with hard tasks. Here are some ways to keep your motivation strong. Set clear and important goals, make sure your goals are easy to understand and mean something to you. They should fit with what you care about and your big life plans. Make small, doable steps, break big goals into smaller tasks you can finish. Each small success will make you feel good and keep you motivated. Picture success, imagine yourself reaching your goals. This can make the rewards feel more real and give you a big boost of motivation. Keep a motivation journal, write down your progress and ponder your journey. This helps you remember how far you've come and why you started. Getting back lost motivation. Even very disciplined people can lose their motivation sometimes. Here's how to get it back. Try a new way, if your goals aren't working, try something different. Change your goals, how you're trying to reach them, or even your daily routine. Look at your goals again, 
sometimes you lose motivation because your goals don't fit you. Check if your goals are still important to you. Changing them can help you feel excited again. Find inspiration, read about, listen to, or talk with people who have reached goals like yours. This can excite you and give you new ideas to overcome problems. Using outside rewards. While it's best to be motivated from the inside, outside rewards can help a lot, especially for tasks that aren't fun. Here's how to use outside rewards effectively. Set up rewards, give yourself a treat after finishing a task or reaching a goal. This gives you something to look forward to. Get a buddy, tell a friend or group about your goals. Knowing others are counting on you can make you more committed and motivated. Beating demotivation. Knowing how to deal with feeling unmotivated is just as important as knowing how to get motivated. Here are some ways to help. Find the causes. Are you tired, stressed, or overwhelmed? Figure out why you're feeling down so you can fix it. Change your space. Sometimes, changing your surroundings can make you feel better and more motivated. Try moving your furniture, getting more sunlight, or tidying up. Take breaks, burnout can make you feel unmotivated. Taking regular breaks helps keep your mind healthy and your motivation strong. Motivation is key to self-discipline. Comprehending and managing what drives you can keep going even when things are tough and reach your goals. In the next section, we'll discuss handling setbacks and learning from failures to keep you on track with your self-discipline journey. Section 8, Turning Setbacks into Success, Turning Mistakes into Stepping Stones Setbacks and failures happen to everyone when working toward a goal. How you react to these challenges can affect your success and growth. This section talks about handling setbacks, learning from them, and using these experiences to make your self-discipline stronger. Understanding Setbacks Setbacks are a normal part of learning and trying to achieve goals. They don't mean you've failed for good, they are chances to learn and grow. It's important to see setbacks this way to stay motivated and keep moving forward, even when things get tough. How setbacks affect us. Failures can make us feel disappointed, frustrated, or even less confident. But how you deal with these feelings is what matters most. If you can stay positive about setbacks, you can turn them into helpful experiences that help you grow. Ways to deal with setbacks. Handling setbacks correctly can help you stay focused and turn problems into chances for success. Here are some helpful strategies. Recognize your feelings, it's okay to feel disappointed. Acknowledge your emotions and let yourself feel them instead of pushing them away. Change your thinking, instead of seeing setbacks as failures, see them as lessons. This can help you feel more motivated to keep going. Look at what happened, take a moment to think about the situation. Figure out what went wrong and why. This can give you important ideas on how to improve next time. Change your plan, adjust your strategies and maybe your goals from what went wrong. Changing your approach can help you avoid similar setbacks in the future. Ask for help, talk to friends, mentors, or peers about your experience. They can offer new ideas and encouragement which is important for growth. Set small goals, to feel more confident, create small goals that lead to bigger ones. Achieving these smaller goals can lift your spirits and remind you that you can succeed. Building resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back when things get tough and keep moving forward. Here are some ways to build and strengthen your resilience. Have a support system. Surround yourself with friends and family who encourage you and give good advice when you face challenges. Stay positive, keep a hopeful attitude. Being optimistic can help you stay motivated, even when things don't go as planned. Stay focused on your goals, remember your long-term goals. Remembering them can help you stay motivated, even if you don't see immediate results. Take care of yourself, regular exercise, enough sleep, and healthy foods can boost your body and mind, making it easier to handle stress. Learning from failure. Failure can teach us important lessons if we have the right attitude. Here's how to learn from your mistakes. Keep a journal, write down your failures and what you learned from them. 
This helps you see how you've grown and reminds you not to make the same mistakes again. Look for patterns, check your failures for common reasons. If you notice a pattern, you can work on changing those habits. Build your skills, sometimes, failures show you what you need to learn. Use these lessons to help you improve and gain new skills. Keeping a long-term perspective. When you face setbacks, it's important to think about the long term. Imagine your success, picture yourself achieving your goals regularly. This helps you remember why you started, especially during tough times. Be flexible, be open to changing your goals and plans as you learn and as things around you change. Celebrate your progress, celebrate your small steps, not just the big achievements. Recognizing your progress can keep you motivated. Handling setbacks is a key part of self-discipline. By learning from mistakes, building resilience, and keeping a positive outlook, you can turn challenges into chances to grow and succeed. In the next lesson, we'll see how creating a supportive environment can help you stay disciplined. Section 9, Building Your Success Zone, Harnessing External Factors for Self-Discipline Where we live and work can impact how well we stick to our goals. Everything around us, from our physical space to the people we spend time with, can either help or hurt our self-discipline. This section is all about creating a space that makes it easier to stay focused and reach your goals. The power of your physical space. Where you work or live can change how well you do things. A clean, organized space helps you focus better. Here's how to set up your space for success. Keep it tidy. A clean room helps clear your mind and makes it easier to stay on task. Make sure to clean and organize your areas regularly. Different spaces for different activities, work, relax, and exercise in separate areas. This helps your brain know what to do in each space. Manage your digital space, digital clutter can be distracting too. Keep your computer files organized, turn off notifications that aren't important, and use apps that block distracting websites when you need to focus. The people around you matter. The people you spend time with can affect your self-discipline. Being around disciplined, motivated people can inspire you, while being around less motivated people can make it harder to stay focused. Pick your friends carefully, spend time with people who have the same values and goals as you. Their good habits and attitudes can rub off on you. Find mentors and role models, mentors can give you great advice, motivation, and feedback to help you grow. Join accountability groups, being part of a group that checks on each other's progress can help you stay committed and disciplined. Using community resources. Your community has resources that can help you stay disciplined. Go to workshops and classes, many communities have workshops to help you learn new skills or improve things you already know. These can help you stay disciplined in specific areas. Use public places, libraries, parks, and community centers are great places to work quietly, relax, or exercise. This can help you stay focused and strong. Join community groups or events. Being part of community groups or events can help you meet new people, get new ideas, and stay motivated. Making routines that fit your environment. Your daily and weekly routines can be helped or hurt by your location. Here's how to ensure your surroundings support your routines. Optimize your routine, look at your daily routine and determine if it fits your environment. For example, if you work best in the morning and your house is quiet, do your hardest work in the morning. Use environmental cues, use things in your environment to remind you to do certain tasks. For example, Putting your running shoes next to your bed can help you remember to exercise in the morning. Adapt to changes, be ready to change your routines if your environment changes. This might mean working at different times if your house is quieter or moving your workspace to get more sunlight during the day. Creating a positive inner environment. While where you live and work is important, having a positive inner environment is just as important. Mindfulness and self-awareness. Doing things like mindfulness and meditation can help you think positively, which is key to staying disciplined. Stress management, learn ways to manage stress to stay focused and disciplined even when things get tough. Continuous self-reflection, regularly think about how you're doing, what's going well, 
and what's not. This can help you adjust your goals and plans to fit your life better. Making sure your environment supports you is important for keeping self-discipline. By shaping your surroundings and having a positive mindset, you can focus better, work smarter, and reach your goals. In the next section, we will talk about how to keep your discipline strong over time for long-term success and happiness. Section 10, Sustaining Success, Mastering Long-Term Discipline Reaching your big goals needs more than excitement and motivation at the start. Keeping up with self-discipline over time is super important. This section will help you learn how to stay disciplined for a long time to keep growing and winning in life. Why it's hard to stay disciplined Staying disciplined can be tough because things change, motivation can go up and down, and setbacks happen. To be successful in the long run, you need to change your strategies as you grow. This way, your self-discipline will grow, and you'll keep moving forward. Strategies for long-term discipline Check and change your goals often, as life changes, so should your goals. Keep updating them to make sure they stay important and exciting. This helps you stay disciplined for a long time. Believe you can grow, think of yourself as someone who can always grow with effort and learning. This mindset helps you bounce back from mistakes and keep trying. Set up and stick to routines, good routines make it easier to do the right things without thinking about them. Even when you're not feeling motivated, your routines can help you push through. Keep learning, always look for new things to learn. It keeps you interested and helps you excel, which is important for staying disciplined. Manage your energy, know that your energy levels can change and learn how to use your energy wisely. Plan your day to work hardest when you have the most stamina. Techniques to enhance long-term motivation. Imagine your big goal, think about reaching your big goal often. This can keep you motivated and remind you why you're working hard. Celebrate little wins, notice and celebrate even the small steps you take toward your goal. This makes you feel good and keeps you motivated. Remember your reason, keep in mind why you set your goals. Whether it's for personal happiness, getting better at something, or another reason, remembering this can help you stay disciplined. Adapting to changes and setbacks. Change happens constantly, and how you deal with it can affect your ability to stay disciplined. Here are some tips to adapt well. Be flexible with methods, not goals. Your goals can stay the same, but be open to different ways of reaching them. Changing how you do things can help you overcome problems without losing track of your desired achievements. Develop resilience. Build resilience by learning from experiences and practicing. Resilience helps you handle stress and bounce back from setbacks, making it easier to stick to your goals even when tough. Seek feedback and support. Getting feedback from mentors, friends, or coaches can give you new ideas and help you improve. Support from others can also lift your spirits and make you stronger during hard times. Integrating self-discipline into your lifestyle. The goal is to make self-discipline a natural part of who you are and how you live. Align activities with personal values. Make sure your daily activities and long-term goals match what you believe is important. This way, staying disciplined will feel more rewarding and less hard. Use technology wisely. Use technology to keep track of your progress, schedule tasks, and remind you of your goals. Apps and digital tools can help you stay disciplined. Maintain physical and mental health. Taking care of your body and mind helps you stay disciplined. Regular exercise, enough sleep, and healthy eating are important for keeping up your efforts and succeeding. Staying disciplined isn't just about following strict schedules. It's about adjusting to changes, learning from experiences, and making discipline a part of your everyday life. These strategies can keep your self-discipline strong and achieve lasting success and happiness. This way, you reach your goals and lead a more meaningful life. How therapy can help facilitate self-discipline. Self-discipline is essential for achieving personal goals, maintaining healthy habits, and navigating life's challenges with resilience. It empowers individuals to stay focused, make thoughtful decisions, and overcome obstacles. Getting therapy can be a valuable resource in building self-discipline. 
The platform I recommend offers convenient, accessible support from licensed therapists who can help you understand your behaviors, set achievable goals, and develop effective strategies for maintaining discipline. To learn more about the therapy platform I use and recommend, click the link in the description. Guidance and tools can strengthen your self-discipline and lead a more productive, fulfilling life. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.